And since we have two strategies right now, when we look at these examples, you guys got to tell me which strategy you like. Do you like one or two? One. 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 Okay. Two, two, one. And we can switch off, so we can do them differently, all right? So using strategy one, I'm going to break up. I'm going to look at uh, factors of 50, but I want a perfect square on that, right? So one would be 25 and two. 25 times 2, and 25 is the perfect square on it, these. So this really ends up being the square root of 25 times 2. Which, again, I can break this up into the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 25 is a perfect square, which is 5. The square root of 2 is not a perfect square, so it just stays square root of 2. I get it more. There we go. I think I can see your work. If you did this just with the number switched, you can write the square root of 2 times 5. It just kind of looks like you mean the square root of 25. So be very careful with how you write that. We want that uh, 5 to be in front of the square root so we can differentiate between the two. For method 1, you kind of have to know the, a lot of the perfect squares. And you got to know that there, there would be factors of these numbers, like 50, 25 is a factor, or it means that if I break this up into multiples, 25 times 2 would give me 50. But I have to know that 25 is a perfect square to figure that part out.